Hey guys, it's Kim here. Welcome back to my gaming channel. So on the new Tsurumi Island, you may have come across some ghosts and I want to show you guys all of the locations because they all give you treasure chests. There are nine in total, so I'm going to be showing you guys all their locations and also the solutions to their puzzles. So let's start. Ghost number one is Shitoki and we are going to start off by teleporting to the Statue of the Seven. So from the Statue of the Seven we're just going to go ahead and then you will see on the ground there's a conch. We are going to pick that up. Once you pick it up you will get this scene and Shitoki will talk to you. So for Shitoki's quest you actually need to find four conches. There are a bunch of conches around this island but not all of them contain the part of the treasure map that you are looking for. So let's teleport to the ceremonial site and we are going to go to the right and if we go to that altar over there so if you just look to the left you'll see a conch right there so this is the next part of the map that we need now we are going to teleport to this part over here so the next part is actually where this shipwreck is so we're going to teleport to Aotake Plains and we are just going to head to the shipwreck so keep going so I'm going to be showing you guys firstly the ghosts that you can complete the quests in one day there are a couple of ghosts where it actually takes a couple of real life days to finish off their quest so that will be towards the end of the video but for now let's just do this one first so where this shipwreck is if you just go down near the mast there it is there's the conch we're going to pick that one up now the next conch is just over here so if you teleport to the shirikoro peak we are going to go right down to the bottom so let's just go down and just be careful not to like fall and die but there we go we are at the bottom and you will see the conch right next to that rock right there pick that one up and that is all of the conches we need so once you have all of the conches what you want to do is teleport to the statue of the seven and shitoki is actually just behind it so let's go up there and let's talk to him and then he's going to piece together the map for you and it's going to um, show you guys where the treasure is so if you open it up it is at Mount Kanna, so we're going to teleport to the ceremonial site. And then we are going to head into Mount Kanna. So once you have arrived at Mount Kanna, we are going to go into the middle part and just where the owl is, we can dig. So right there, we can dig and then you will get a precious chest that will appear. You can read the letter as well, but yeah, this is the very first of the nine treasure chests that we will be getting in this video. So that is the location of the first chest. Ghost number two is actually a couple. It is Kito and Kina. So we are going to teleport to this location right here and we are going to head to a small island. So let's just jump and then we are going to glide over to the island where this big monument is and just next to it you will see uh, Kito and Kina. So we're just going to talk to them. So what you want to do is you will talk to them, you'll get some dialogue and then you want to talk to them again. 
but this time when you talk to them you want to give them some of your sakura blooms so we're just going to give them one and then once you give them the sakura blooms they are going to disappear and go somewhere else and we need to follow them five times so that was the first location now second location is right here so let's teleport to this waypoint and what we're going to do is just head to the right I'm going to glide down and then go onto this platform and we're just going to run down. So see up ahead there is another ghost but we'll be dealing with them more later so we'll just do one thing at a time. Alright so you'll see these stones let's just jump off and then you will see Kito and Kina right there. So same thing as the first time, we're going to talk to them, you'll just get some dialogue and then you will need to talk to them again and give them some more sakura blooms. Once you give them the sakura bloom, then they will leave and then you will have to find them at the next location. Alright, so next location is around here at Otaka Plains. So we're going to teleport to this waypoint right here. So where they are, um, they are near the Hilichurl camp area. So we're just going to head towards that direction. So I'm just going to take this way here. Go around and you should see them just standing on the left right there let's quickly chat to them and they will have some more dialogue and then they will stop talking talk to them again and once again give them another sakura bloom and then they will disappear and go to the next location Location number four. So we are going to teleport to the waypoint and we are going to head towards the waterfall. So the waterfall is just located north if you just follow the edge of this island. So just keep going and then you'll reach Aotake Plains. Keep going. And then here is the waterfall. And we are just going to go down and there they are just at the bottom right there. Talk to them, get some dialogue, and then give them some more sakura blooms, and then they will disappear and go to their last location. Okay, location number five. This is the last location where we have to find them. So teleport to that waypoint and we are going to go past this Hillichol camp and we are just going to glide down from here. And then there's a tiny cave right there and you'll see a Sealy if you haven't gotten that yet. But there they are just over there so we're just going to talk to them and this time when you chat to them they will give you a treasure chest so now that we've spoken to them a chest will spawn and they would disappear all right so now we are going to do the next ghost so we're going to teleport to the shrine now from the teleport waypoint we're just going to go to the shore just down there and we are going to fish. So it doesn't matter which fish you catch, just catch any fish. And yeah, I'm just going to do that now, just catch any random one. And yep, we've got some fish. Okay. Once you catch a fish, Ipe will appear automatically and he wants you to find a Mikey charm. So to find that, we need to go to the location and we need to fish for it. So the location where we have to fish is on this island just around here. So to get there, we're just going to teleport to this waypoint and we are going to head to that island.
Okay, so this is an island. Now, there's no fishing point, but if you use your feather on this owl, the fishing point will appear and we can start fishing. So this one is kind of based on luck. So sometimes on the first try, you might be able to get the charm. Sometimes on the second, if you don't get it, then you can change your time to 6 p.m. in game. And then maybe you might be able to spawn more fish. So I didn't get it the first time. So I'm just going to switch my bait to this one here. And then I'm going to try again. So I did this on my main account and I did it the first time. But on this account, it took two tries for me to get the charm. So, yep, I'm just going to try and get this fish here. Alright, so I caught the fish and I got the charm. So once you have the charm, we are going to head back to the shrine and we are going to talk to Ipe. So teleport to that waypoint. And then I'm just going to go down and then going to chat to him. And then once you give him the charm, he's going to give you a chest. So that is a third chest done. Ghost number four is Redo. And we saw him earlier when we were doing the um, couple that were going around the whole island. So we're just going to head up to him and chat to him. Now this guy's kind of interesting if you read his dialogue. He says a lot of wacky stuff, um, which I found kind of amusing. So yeah, we're just going to chat to him. And basically he just wants you to go to his wife's grave to find some stuff. So yeah, we're just going to head to his wife's grave, I guess. So his wife's grave is located on this island with the shrine. So we're going to head back there. And then we are going to head towards it. So it's actually just where this tree is, this small tree, just in front of us. So you want to go up to that and then we are going to dig. So when you dig, nothing's going to happen. But then if you turn to your left, you'll see that there is a lower chill. So we're just going to fight this lower chill. And once you defeat the lower chill, the ghost will appear and it turns out it was a trick the whole time. So yeah, you just talk to him and then eventually he will give you a chest for your efforts. So that is your fourth chest. All right, so that chest is done. So now we are going to head to the next ghost, which is actually just, you know, under this spot right here from where the last chest was. And this one is like a game of hide and seek with Nono. So you just spoke to Nono and now we're going to find the next location where Nono is. So the next location is just around here and they're just hiding inside this little corner speak to them and then they will go to the next location turn around and they're just basically like behind just right there so speak to them then they will move to the very front of the island so i'm just going to run all the way there <coughs> just next to the tree and then the final location is right at the back of the island where the tree with the perch was uh, for the quest so we're just going to head to the very back and around then we're just going to head towards the tree so on the side of the tree you will find 
the ghost and then we're just going to talk to Nono and you will get your fifth chest. So that chest is done. All right. So the next one is the one that takes the most time. I think it's the most tedious um, if you make a mistake. So we're going to teleport to our Take Plains and we are going to go up and talk to Chise. Now for this one, we need to actually go to every single Stormstone and we need to light them all up. So I'm going to show you guys all of the locations. So please follow along exactly. So first we're going to teleport back to the waypoint. I'm going to use Lisa. You can use any Electro character to do this. So first we need to solve this puzzle right here. Now to do this, there is an Electro Sealy that's floating above and if you light up a Stormstone, it's going to attract it. So we need to just light up one of the Stormstones. It's going to go and attract and then we need to solve this Lightning Pro puzzle. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I solve it. So we're going to solve this one first. That one's done. Then we're going to light up this one. So you must solve the Electro Pro puzzle in order to uh, get all these Stormstones to light up. So this is the second one right here. And then we are going to light up this one here. And then we're going to go to this probe, get that one to solve. And then we're going to go to this last one and try and get this probe to solve. And there we go. A chest will spawn. And once you have finished this puzzle, all four of the storm stones will light up. And yeah, I'm going to have a storm stone count just at the top so you guys can keep um, in track of what I'm doing. So we're going to teleport back to this waypoint now. And once you have teleported, we are going to light up every single storm stone. So some of them I have lit up already, like this one here. So this is number five. And then we're going to head to where Chise is and then light up this one. That's number six. And then behind Chise, there is an owl. So we're going to use the feather and there is a hidden one. So in total, I believe there were 43 storm stones I found. Okay, so where this Q puzzle is, there is another one. Head around. And you will see another one right in front of you. So yeah, just follow along exactly to what I'm doing. It's probably not like the most efficient route but i made sure to include every single one of them so the problem with this puzzle is that even if you miss one you need to go through again and find the one you're missing which does take a lot of time this is why i think this one is the most tedious the hardest one to do Huh? 
Alright, so this is another hidden one. We're going to use a feather on this owl and some slimes will appear. So we're just going to fight them. And once you have defeated them, you can light up this one, summon Electro Granum. And then we're going to go into this barrier. You can grab Electroclus if you haven't yet. And then we're going to light up this Stormstone. Alright guys, we're almost there. Use your feather on this owl, you'll find another secret stormstone. Light that one up and the very last one. So we're going to go just behind this rock. Here we go, last one done. Once you are done, teleport back to the waypoint and we are going to talk to Chise. So, just gonna go up and talk to him. So. If you indeed got every single Stormstone, when you talk to him, he is going to give you a chest. And there we go. We're done with number six. Ghost number seven is underground, so we're going to teleport to Shirikoro Peak. And okay, so for this one, um, this one would take multiple days for you to complete. So first off, we're going to head right down to the very bottom, and we are going to go into the underground cave. So you would have opened this if you did the, um, I guess, the quest for this island. I mean, like, to get these ghosts, you must have completed all the quests anyway. So yeah, we're going to head towards the very deep end of this. Okay, so over here you will see some of these blue mushrooms. So we're going to pick them all up. So once you pick them all up, you will spawn Abe and he's not going to be happy with you for picking up his mushrooms. So now what you want to do is you want to wait at least 48 hours in real life time. So reason why is because we need these mushrooms to spawn again. Once they respawn, we are going to pick up all the mushrooms once again speak to Aben and he's going to be mad again but what we're going to do is we're going to give him some mushrooms and then once you give him mushrooms he's going to give you a chest ghost number eight is una and this one takes the longest time to complete so una is just located over here so just gonna go down and talk to una now the reason why it takes the longest is because we have to talk to her for five days so this is the very first day i spoke to her we're going to um just speak to her and then you'll get some sakura blooms so this is the next day so we're going to talk to her again and then she's going to give you more sakura blooms so i guess 
including the original day you spoke to her, it takes six days in total um, because yeah, after five days, that is when you can complete the quest. So this is the um, second day, or well, the third day, I guess. So we're going to talk to her and then every single day you, t you speak to her, she's going to give you a Sakura Bloom. And then this is the next day. The next day. And on the final day you speak to her, she is going to want you to give her Kito's sachet. And this item you would have gotten from the couple ghost that I showed you guys earlier. So once you give her that, you can open up this exquisite chest. Okay, so she's the last ghost. Once you have helped all of the ghosts go back to their boat, we can teleport to Shirikoro Peak. And we are going to go down right to the bottom and we are going to talk to Boatman. So if you speak to Boatman before you helped all of the ghosts get back to their location, or to the boat he's going to give you some clues on where the other ghosts are so you can help them out but once you have completed all of them we're going to talk to him and you'll go through some dialogue and then you want to speak to him again and then he is going to have a cutscene and once the cutscene is done you will get a chest so that is all of the ghosts on Surumi Island. I really hope this video helps you out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. And that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for more chests, check out my other guides for other areas. I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!